Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing an acrylic pour through a sink strainer. Been wanting to try this one for a while, just haven't gotten around to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it as a dirty pour. So starting with white, and this is turquoise, and then we've got some blue. And this is just an 8 by 10 canvas, so not very big. We've got some green. Some purple. Copper. I'm doing a bunch of colors. <laughs> um, black. And then I think let's do some more blue. Okay, that should be plenty. So, let's see here. I think I'm gonna have to hold this. And here we go. So far, so good. And this is a uh, silicone, so should clean out pretty easily. All right, so look at that cool pattern. And we're just gonna stretch this out just a little. It's very similar to the colander pour. And as with the colander pour, actually, this would probably work a little better if it, uh, if there was already wet canvas on the paint, uh, already wet paint on the canvas. Um, but yeah, there we go. We still maintain our design. Maybe a little off center, but that's okay. That's pretty cool. Um, I did look for one that had lines and not circles, but I didn't find one. So I just went with what I had for now. But anyways, let's let this sit here for a little bit, and then we'll come back in for a close-up. All right, we're back. So we did get quite a bit of fun cells developed here, as well as obviously a pretty cool pattern. So just definitely another way to do an acrylic pour. Uh, let's go ahead and do our close-up. All right, so starting with the bottom right corner, look at those fun cells. And obviously some fun lines in there. Top right corner. I love these colors together too. Top left corner. Bottom left. And then of course <laughs> the middle. So, once again, overall picture. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely feel free to, you know, experiment with fun things you have around the house. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.